why does it take so long to make a vaccine? Because I remember hearing um, some time ago, I think it was um, Dr. Fauci was speaking about it takes 10 years to develop a vaccine from start to it being ready. Why does that process normally take so long? Okay, well, let's let's start with first, you have to determine there's a need for a vaccine because manufacturers aren't going to make products that will not be used and sold. So you need to decide what particular diseases um, are causing enough health problems in the in the community at large. Then you have to understand that disease. So if it's a virus or bacteria, you have to understand what part of that virus actually causes the disease. And at what point, uh, what part of that virus is actually causing the immune response? So you have to understand the disease. So there's a lot of research that goes into that. Then you have to make small batches and test it in animals for safety, for immunogenicity, all types of tests that look at pharmacology. That itself can take a year or two when you do these studies. Then you start, you start the regulatory process. You submit all those data to the regulator and that supports your first phase one, which is usually a safety study looking at probably the highest safe dose. So you do dose escalation. So you would do a number of people that aren't, they're healthy and they sign up for this and you, you do a safety study. Now you have to analyze all the data and those data usually you have to monitor those people for several months um, looking for delayed adverse events. And then those data have to be all um, you know, correlated, analyzed, and then submitted to the regulators. You then have to design your phase two. And the phase two is a smaller efficacy, uh, effectiveness study. The effectiveness study is where you look at antibodies, the immune response to whatever you are injecting, and the safety, the safety profile of that particular product. That can take another year or two because you're you're asking healthy people to come into this trial and you're taking blood work and urine samples and doing a number of things, as well as monitoring, watching whether or not the immune system starts to wane. You want to know where do you boost. So if you're looking at boosters, you need to know when the antibody drops off. So then you take all those data and, there, and through these processes, the regulators are auditing those trials. They're actually going to clinical sites and making sure you're following the, the good clinical practices and that the records are clean. Then you go to your phase three. And the phase three for vaccines are what you call efficacy. So effectiveness is looking at antibody response and efficacy, you actually go into an endemic area and you have placebo controlled studies with thousands of people and you're looking at the efficacy. So what percentage of that population is actually prevented from getting the disease? Remember disease is different from infection. Disease is when you get symptoms, infection, Hopefully, your immune system is now preventing you from getting disease. So those trials can take several years because you're looking at efficacy and you have to wait till you get enough actual people that have the disease and the placebo to be able to show a statistical difference between the two groups. Once you've done that, you now have to scale up your process. And, and uh, biologics, which is uh, what vaccines are, you also have to show consistency of manufacturing and you have to get an establishment license. So your manufacturing facility also has to be licensed for that process. You can make 20 vaccines, but every process that changes, you need to go through a, a license application for the establishment. And then you have audits. They have to come and inspect you. They inspect your, your, your facilities and the quality control and the all the things that you do to ensure that you've got consistency of manufacture. Then you send samples to the regulators and they test those products to look for, for consistency. You usually send about five consecutive batches and they all have to pass the test. So then you have to develop a post-marketing strategy and, and uh, submit that to the regulators, plus your labeling and your, and your advertising, any promotional work that you want to put out that you have to get approved. So all of that, 10 years is actually a short period of time. If you're starting from the bench, to getting it on the market, all of that has to be done. And you can just imagine how each of those steps will take years in some cases. 